If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, welcome back. In last lecture, we just getting started with respect to identifying the bottlenecks uh, using a hits per second graph. So what we did was we identified the uh, hits per second and we have plotted uh, between the uh, running users uh, hits per second and time and we exported to Excel sheet and we have identified there is uh, abnormal in the uh, time frame between 430 to 530 range. So those are very uh, basic uh, level of analysis. In this lecture, we are going to drill down further using uh, throughput uh, data and we are going to uh, identify the root cause why there is something wrong uh, between uh, 430 to 530 duration. So by default, analysis will plot throughput graph for you, uh, which is uh, in the x-axis, you have, will have a time and uh, the y-axis will have a bytes per second. So throughput is nothing but uh, number of transactions uh, per second or number of uh, transactions per hour. For example, if you take Amazon website, we can say how many orders Amazon is processing or how many uh, products the sellers are listing. So these are like throughput which you can correlate with the business to uh, further tune or you can uh, get some meaningful uh, data points. So here we are going to use a throughput graph uh, and uh, we are going to correlate with the uh, hits per second and see what's going on between 4.30 to 5.30. So for this analysis, I'm going to set the granularity to 5 seconds, which is a minimum in this case. And we are going to merge this graph with the running users hits per second. So this is the graph we plotted in the last lecture and hit OK. Now you can see uh, the four parameters, time, throughput, running users, hits per second are available in one single graph. But it's not visible much, right? You cannot see running users uh, or, or you, can, uh, you cannot uh, uh, clearly see the data points of all the four parameters. For that, I'm going to change the display options to three-dimensional. So just right click and display options three dimensional and I'm going to change the time options to absolute time and I'm going to increase the 3D percentage to 20. You can play around with these numbers based on your uh, need and I'm going to hit close. Now to see the running users clearly what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck the uh, throughput and I'm going to keep on the running users and hits per second. So now you can clearly see the green color graph, which is uh, running users and hits per second is the red one. And here you can see something abnormal from 430 to 530 here, right? And the uh, running users is uh, concurrent, uh, 50 virtual users. Now I'm going to uh, uncheck running users and I'm going to check the throughput. See, now the throughput, uh, which is in uh, blue color here, and hits per second is in red color. So now we need to uh, cut, we have to uh, filter the first 430, we have to filter out, and also the right one, uh, 530 and more also we have to filter out. So we have to only keep uh, between 430 to 530, right click, set filter and here you can mention um, 0400 0, 0 and 0600 uh, 0. hit ok and hit ok ok now you can see uh, only the, uh, the uh, data points between 432 to 6 is available so similarly we can change the uh, throughput also here. So 0, 4 to 6, hit okay. okay. 
Okay, now we have only the data between uh, 430 to 6. But still, we uh, we are not able to see the uh, hits per second and throughput clearly, right? For that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit view measurement trends. So once you click on view measurement trends, what will happen is you can see the train between two graphs. So from this graph, what you can say is the hits per second is almost correlated, almost in sync with throughput. See, there are ups and downs and there is steady state and ups, downs, ups, downs and there is some consistency and down. So from here to here, again, something is wrong. So this is the place we have to drill down further to check why there is increase in the response time and why there is a decrease in the throughput and the hits per second. So I hope this uh, lecture is pretty useful. So please stay tuned for the next part and please do subscribe for QA Insights channel for more such videos and tutorials. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.